What's up, y'all? What y'all got going? We up in here. My audio and everything should be good. I checked it all out. What it do, what it do, what it do. I'm supposed to be here for Truck Talk Tuesday. But, man, business has been a little, little um, challenging. As I, as I segue over into um, doing full-time dispatch and low board only, and as I, as I get out of dedicated, make sure my sound good. Check my sound. Waiting on some more people to come up in here. Check y'all out on a couple of different spots. What's up, what's up? I think I might have my, um, let me check on YouTube and see if I got my, these settings right. What's up, what's up, what's up? I don't know why it's not letting the, um, I guess it's not letting the chats come in. Let me see. I'm trying something new today. Let me see if I'd have messed something up real quick. Can y'all can y'all hear me? Okay. 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 I see a um a comment coming in. I'm trying to make sure everything is good. So what's up, what's up, what's up? So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We three minutes, we three minutes in, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it. I was waiting for some more people to come in. I think I got this slow chat thing on. Um hopefully it don't it don't throw off the the whole vibe of everything. Okay, I'm starting to see them coming in now. Hold on. Hold on, give me one second. This is a little um it's delayed. So let me let me change that. Okay, so y'all should be able to come in right now. Okay, so y'all can hear me. He said, hey bro, I emailed you. Hey bro, I emailed you. I'm waiting on the carrier packet. Do you got box trucks or do you got um semis? Because I'm not I don't have any more um, room for the box trucks right now. I'm strictly only only dispatching semis now. Strictly only semis. Volume is good. Good evening. What up, Charles? Terrell, Boss Diva. What's up? What's up? I see y'all coming in here. A little slower than usual, but we're going to get it cracked. I, I guess because everybody was expecting me on Tuesday. Yeah, man, Tuesday was a... Um... So let me jump right into it, man. I... um. I've been going through it a little bit in the trucking, man. It's it's been um since since after Amazon, since having a dedicated work, I got a I got a bit spoiled. So I didn't I didn't I didn't know what it was like to do the load board much. So now, so now we got the load board popping off. Um and and I did we did numbers today. You know, we did numbers today on the um I booked a I booked 600 miles for 1400 which was probably the worst load that I booked. And that's what I want to say, like, my $1,400 mistake was. So, let me see where we at in here. All right, we five minutes in, so let's get it. So, what's up, y'all? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my live stream. Usually it's Truck Talk Tuesday, but today on Wednesday because business got out of hand. I'm Kobe Pegway. For anybody new this that's up in here, we're just gonna be talking about um just there's different topics every week as of like what's going on in the truck. And I basically just talking from my perspective. Um go go check me out on my website, anything like that. Other than that, let's go jump into it. So, so so my fourteen hundred dollar mistake was that I seen it like basically I'm thinking like because you all always do everything from compliance. So I'm thinking that since the loads paying 1400 and then from a compliance standpoint it's only i think it was only 600 miles which in fact the driver can drive 16 miles in a day so if the driver can go 600 miles i'm like 1400 i'm like that's good because i'm thinking in my mind like okay 
if if he did this same run, you know, five, six days a week, that'd be some change. Six days, about 8,400. So I'm like, okay, that'd be some change. But what I had forgot in a moment, I was trying to hurry up and book it so I can get done. But then I looked at it, I'm like, the rate per mile was only $2.33. And we've been getting way more than that. So I kind of end up feeling like, I'm like, oh man, that's all bad. We, I didn't end up, I didn't end up booking, booking it for the mileage that I usually try to stay at 275 or better for um, power only and about like 350 with, with the trailer. So I end up, I end up redeeming myself though, because I end up booking a, I end up booking one that was 250 miles for 1400. So I ended up redeeming myself. And um, I think I booked another one for, I don't know what the other one was for though. Um, matter of fact, I can, I can actually just show y'all real quick. So y'all can kind of see what I've been, what I've been up to. Well, I'll show you. I'll show y'all in a minute. What up? I see Vegas in the house. I see Memphis 10. What up? What up? Watch your book. Came in super quick. Salute. Hey. Hey, that's what's up. Hey, let me know what it's like. Hey, matter of fact, if you got the book, um, post a picture, post a picture with it on um on, on IG and tag me in it. And I and I shoot it to my story. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get that out there because I think that's a that's a very good resource for anybody who, you know, who don't want to make the you know the four hundred dollar investment. Well, not it ain't even four hundred because I ain't doing a live until August, another live class, but two fifty to just take the course or you just spend a hundred. I see you got St. Louis in the building of Chicago. We got Houston in here. We got Richmond, Virginia up in here. So that's what's up. All right. So yeah. So I was just, I just kind of want to hit on y'all to um that even though I've been in the game, I'm rusty at dispatching because I haven't dispatched in and I don't know how long, probably like almost two years. I've been having other people dispatch, but now that I'm not with Amazon no more, I got to create another system. So I got my trailers coming in. My driver's been going to go pick up trailers every day. I got five of them. About to buy like two more so I can get some of this dedicated work going, work flowing. But box trucks has definitely has been a major headache for me though lately, for real. Cause they just, man, the, the selected slow board. Whew, I, I want to show it to y'all too, though. I mean, I mean, let me know if y'all want to see it. I know it is, I know it's gonna be dead right now, but um I'm I'll be trying to get that 12 o'clock live going, but man, it's it just be tough to to get it on during the day, man. It'd be it'd be, it'd be the sweet spot. You know, that's when business is business is really, really going. So the other thing I wanted to wrap about is give me one second, let me pull up this on my screen. The other thing I want to wrap about is I so my insurance company is not renewing my policy. So I've been waiting. Like so, so like my policy is is ending in 10 days. And I'm just now finding out today that the national indemnity don't want to renew. So I'm like, man, that's crazy, you know. Like, why would they not want to renew the, um, you know, my policy? And the insurance agent was just like, well, I, I made too many changes because I was buying trucks, you know, and moving trucks on and off. Then drivers switching and stuff. Like I told you, drivers be a little bit tough to keep sometimes. And then I, sometimes I got to, you know, I got to fire them and all of that. So they, they didn't like all of the changes. So now I'm stuck to have to go with progressive, which is expensive, but it ain't, it ain't, it's only more expensive by about maybe $600 a month. But it's all good because, like I said, I'll be able to have a little more control over my policy and it'll be it'll be flowing by a lot more swiftly. So now it's for the first time in four years. I got to actually go with progressive because I'm running out of time. And if some people actually not even wanting to load me, even though my insurance is still active for some reason, they ain't even they ain't, they ain't even wanting to load me for real. But, yeah, so so that's that that's on the non renewal. Um, so just know that insurance right now is a little bit is a little bit higher. If anybody knows somewhere where insurance is not, you know, and is is twenty thousand a year or somewhere or less, you know, put that in the air, you know, on on her on the chat or whatever. So so everybody can kind of see. So this could be a, you know, it could be like a learning a learning vibe for everybody, everybody involved. So. So, so that's good too. So let's talk. So a lot of people been asking me about factoring too. So I got, I got a factoring partner. OTR, my link is in the description. I don't even know if I can see the description on the live, but the link is in the description though. Or, or you can either find it like on, on, on any of my other videos. It got the link on there, but um, definitely hit the partner link. If you need a fuel card 
or factoring or whatever. Um, I got a partnership with OTR. You click on there, they, they'll plug you in with all of that. Um, on top of that, other than that, I kind of want to take a few questions um, from y'all. Like I said, I really, I really just, I ain't have a whole lot to talk about. Just the fact that I had, you know, I've been, I've been actually in the business lately. Uh, I've been dispatching. I've been everything because I'm trying to build this dispatching course because I'm like, I mean, dispatching is not really that hard. Everybody try to make it sound like there's all these steps to it. I just feel like you got to kind of have like a certain type of personality to really, to really win at it. You can't really be passive. I feel like, I mean, you got to be kind of like, you got to be at it. You got to be calling, especially on the box truck side. Dispatching is, is way harder on the, on the box truck side. You got to be super quick. Like, so if you, if you type hella slow, and you move hella slow, it's, it's gonna be tough, man, because them box truck loads be going quick. They be going like boom. But it's it's way more relaxed on the semi side. So that's why I'm more catering my my dispatch services to semis because I can guarantee them 250 a mile, you know, for shows, 260. And I know that it's plenty of work in, in a lot of different areas, you know. So definitely got a dispatch course coming. So uh hit me up if y'all interested in it, you know. Um, I'm going to put it together. Like, like if I get pre-orders, then I'll put it together probably quickly. But now, man, I'm kind of focused on getting these trailers and getting this dedicated work popping off too, though. But in the meantime, in between time, I try to put together something to, to, to teach y'all with what, whatever y'all trying to know. Um, also, I'm going to jump into, I'm going to jump into, um, show y'all uh, um, what I've been doing over the, over the last six weeks with the semi, kind of just give you a little glance glance into it how it look how to structure one of these like a like a sheet you know what i mean so hold on one second while i pull it up so i could just show y'all real quick how one of my trucks and this was a truck that where like the driver wasn't like the worst driver but wasn't like the best driver but um what they was able to they were still able to make money so, so I'm gonna I'm I'm intersect this way and, and, and knock off a couple of questions real quick. So I see, saying, let me let's see it. Are you planning on coming up with another book in the future? This is a great beginner's guidebook. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna make the intermediate because I'm still learning. Like I said, I've been dedicated for a minute, and the low board is a whole another is a whole another beast. I mean, it's is you could do it. It's just time consuming, very. But yeah, 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 just just for I'm definitely coming out with another book for sure. Ber Berkshire Hathaway. Um, they've been saying something, but I don't think they stuff been, um, been the best for me lately either though, as well. Um, yeah, insurance does suck. We got Oakland in the house. Been soaking up so much game, going to trucking school in June. That's what's up. Congrats on that. C said it's Amazon fading. I don't know. I talked to my rep out there and she said she's going to try to give me what I want. If not, I'm just going to sell all my box trucks. Like I've been planning to do it. I'm a segue out of box trucks, go strictly semis where I've been trying to be anyway. And I'm just going to do dispatching. I mean, box trucks is cool if, if it fade out. Hopefully I can keep it going because I had people employed on that side. But I understand that business is business. You know, so I'm going to make my drivers. They want to be dispatchers. That's cool. They can keep a job with me, you know, because we picking up on the dispatch side. But, but as far as box trucks, man, it definitely for me might be a thing of the past. Insurance Navy was the cheapest I found for Chicago. They do all insurance there, so not sure how they would be as far as claims. Let's see. What do you wind up running into in order to fire a driver? Um, are you are you asking me the reason why I would fire a driver? Because I can give you a lot of reasons why I didn't fire drivers, like for real. Yeah, so just elaborate on that while I'm looking for this real quick. I'm, I just, I just want to kind of give y'all like a, a quick glimpse real real fast of, of what it looked like. Kind of like putting together like a sheet, like like a little business structure. Because a lot of people I've been talking to, want, um, I've been having a lot of, a lot of people want me to put their business, their whole structure together. So this is kind of help you give an idea of, of, of how I can help you infrastructure a business. Anybody that kind of want to get that, the, the 5K plan I got for completely setting up the whole business from start to finish, helping you find the truck, work, all of that. It's all good, but only only people in certain markets, though. 
Definitely. Just, just like with dispatching, I, I'm not. I don't just take anybody. I'm very selective on who I run with because I don't want to waste my time, and I definitely want don't want to waste yours. I want to make sure that that what we trying to do is kind of compatible with what my skill set is and what I know how to do. I don't just want to just take take anybody. Give me one second. My computer loading up over here. I see more people um, jumping in. What up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Matter of fact, this is this one of my drivers calling right now. I'm going to try to see if I can get y'all in on this, if y'all can hear this. What's up? What? Hey, sir. I'm here. Um, I'm... Uh... I see. Hold on. Show, I guess that I'm here in terms of the uh, the JB Hunt app. Yeah, just um, just call Jason and he'll be able to walk you through it. You told me to call you. Okay, I don't, I don't know as as far as the, the JB Hunt app. I I'm not even a driver, so I don't even know why he would tell you to call uh, me. Right. Okay. Yeah. And I, and I mean, I'm just saying from the standpoint of showing that. Yeah, I mean, it should I'm just alive. be something like a ride or something like that in there. If if not. Yeah. If not, just um let me know what the time is and I'll just I'll just um I mean so so you're there at seven seventeen, I'll just shoot them an email and just let them know. Okay. All right. Well I guess uh they, I think they just opened up the door, so uh, I guess at some point here they'll start uh load me and and then um we'll go from there. Okay, cool. All right, All right brother. All right, peace. All right, yeah, so so that was one of my drivers on the load right now. Um just to see I get a live look like it don't ever stop. So that's why a lot of times I, w I haven't been going live because I got a new driver starting and stuff, trying to train them all at the same time while trying to do this. So, you know, hopefully y'all understand. But let me go ahead and um, jump off into this. Because I want to get y'all the, 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 the live, the real of it. It ain't, it, this ain't no, no uh, eight hour shift type of stuff sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's really... What's good, Kobe? Just got me a hot shot set up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Is that a flatbed hot shot or are you hauling cars? Let me share my screen with y'all. Hold on. It's the, the wrong screen. Hold on. Sure. Hold on one second. Share screen. There we go. All right, bet. So, so this will walk y'all through kind of like what it looked like. Y'all should be able to see it. And so, so this is so since so it's been six weeks since I parted my semis off of Amazon. So now I'm, I've been running JB Hunt, I've been running TQL, I've been running a lot of uh, I've been running. Who else we've been running? Convoy. We've been running a lot of different different ones like that. So we got um. So on here, this pretty much is my breakdown, my structure, how to how to do it all, you know? So this the load number, this is where it's going, where it's going, this is where it's coming, where it's going. Loaded miles, 290, 1250. Atlanta to Darisville is just showing this, just the trailer move, $200. So this kind of just showing you, you know, a quick synopsis. We did 6,700 that week. And, and mind you, this is this is the first six weeks we ever, I ever depended on a load board and 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 forever and probably like two years, so so we did this and this is a driver that ain't that ain't like a a hustler hustler either. He ain't even really a hustler. He just like a regular basic, bare minimum driver, you know. So we end up doing four thousand on thirteen hundred miles. So it ain't the gross. So if people who get caught up in gross, they won't understand that I still probably cleared about seventeen eighteen hundred, probably more than that on that week. I can't think of. Cause I um I don't cause I don't got the breakdown right here, but I'm I still clearing like eighteen, probably like two bands, cause the driver probably got paid like thirteen hundred, you know, and it's only thirteen hundred miles, so it wasn't really a whole lot of cost cost in there. 
So then he he ended up messing up. So that's another thing. The driver ended up messing up his logs on this week right here. So when the driver, if the driver mess up their logs, that's gonna mess up your money. So you got to make sure that you definitely go through training. And but I would I would you you wouldn't think that the driver that I had on this they got like 10, 15 years experience, but they the log stuff is still only like three or four years new. So sometimes older drivers have a problem with with the compliance just with checking on that app. You know, I mean, we're checking on that app consistently so that so we can't run them without the log. So I end up only getting one of Florida and back in and out 891 miles, 3200 still made a stack, still didn't lose that week at all. But I did lose this week. Week four truck was in the shop. So and I couldn't find no rentals until just today. I, I just found the rental. Um, I had to drive all the way down to Tifton, Georgia, which is like three hours to go get that. Well, I didn't have to go drive to go get it, but I had to send somebody down to go get it. Week five, we end up coming back though. So this is one of the first weeks I had my trailers. So as you see, the loads was paying a little bit more, you know, 790, 2000, 64, 2200, 7, 727, 2200, 847, 2500. We was rocking that week. We ended up making 89.50. So even though we, so came, we came off a bad week and we ended up profiting like 3500 this week, just on that one truck. So that's just kind of like, you know, but as a dispatcher, you would need you need something like this because you need to give people they things so they can kind of know. So that's why I'm like, I could train people how to be a dispatcher because dispatching is a part of trucking, a trucking company. So that's why I'm like, it ain't like people trying to make it like it's rocket science. It's really not. I could really show you. I'm basically showing you right now what the other part of the dispatching, like you just putting it in. All you're doing is finding loads. You just need to know what the cost is. Where really when you're dispatching, Yo, the company trucks, you gotta know what the cost is. When you dispatch somebody else's trucks, you just gotta know what they what they want, which is easier. So it's easier for me to dispatch for somebody else than to dispatch for my own trucks. Not really, it's about the same, because I know my numbers though. But for somebody else, if I hired somebody, it'd be easier for me to hire somebody to do that than, um, you know. I'm on a JB Hunt flatbed account, Home Depot, 1400. Ooh, okay, I like that. Yeah, that's good money in that flatbed. And then this the last week, uh, the disc driver, he just ended up quitting and we still, we still did 5,600, you know, in that week. And like I said, we just, the dispatcher just learning. We just now starting doing this. So this is a whole, this is a new dispatcher, new everything. This was, I, I booked maybe like one of these loads, you know, and then the driver was like, quit. But guess what? Got another driver to just start at today. So that's what I've been doing. I've been having to hire drivers. It been, like I said, it's been one of those things where I am not like trucking to beat you up a little bit. But like I said, it's streaky. You you have a good run, like Amazon's a good run. You will, then you know nothing lasts forever. So you got to be ready to kind of you got to put your money up. You know what I'm saying for real. You got to put your money up. All right, cool. Yeah. So I just want to kind of show y'all a little a little back end of what it looks like, like on the back end of actually running a business. You know, because everybody talk about all the stuff, but like I said, the numbers and everything over the week is averages. And like I said, you only get better with time. And like I said, some with these trailers, I'm, I'm doing a little bit better, you know, on some weeks, but like I said, I'm still figuring it out. But it's definitely, it's definitely looking up. Cause I know with the semi trucks, I ain't ever gonna be worried about really ever being stuck nowhere. That's, that's one thing for sure. That's one thing for sure. Show me stay in the house, what it, what it do. I see Vegas out there too. Let me see. Somebody said Google's best choice, Insurance Center, Newport News. Tell them, Jay, cool, Logistics Center, got you. All right, for sure. So for everybody, um, we, 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 we could check them out and see what they talking about, see if they give us a better rate. You know, anybody in here? Let's see. What's good, Kobe? Okay, got you. A hot, got the, okay, it was a hot shot. Going to get a car hauler, though. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, the car hauler. Hey, man, let me know. Hit me up. Um, I, I was interested in that, man. I just think it's too much liability. Now, if I was doing it myself, yeah, but these drivers, nah. You got new trailers, nothing in California, new RUs. I got an order on a new Hyundai, but they won't be arriving until, damn. Nah, I can, Um, I got somebody out here where you can get a new one right now out of my plug in South Carolina, at least in September. They got something for September, though. So, yeah, so just let me know. Um. If you want to link up and I can um I could plug you in with them. 
But yeah, now nah, I just bought used trailers. I just I bought two 2016s and three 2014s. And I got this one shipper that I'm trying to work with. And they say they cool with older trailers. So I'm, I'm going to go get like three more so I can rotate them out because they be wanting to keep them for a couple of days. So they want to keep them for a couple of days. So I get like get like seven or eight of them, rotate the mugs out every day. You know, we be, be in good shape. And start planning my... To get my 26, I can retire next year in June. When should I start putting things in place to place put things in place to my business start of the year? Start of the year question. I got my CDL from tech school and ready now. Well, I would say if you if you're ready, just go ahead and get your, e, your LLC and your EIN number and start building your business credit. So potentially by the time you're ready to actually retire, you will, it takes about 10, nine months to a year to build up you a good business business credit to where you could probably potentially get you a loan, which could buy you a truck, which then you can leverage that loan money to get your business going. And you might not even have to put under your own money up. Business credit is it's key. It's key. So definitely do that. Like I said, that's that's a part of the 5K package. We actually set up your business. We get your business credit and everything started. Within a 5K plan, we do that too. We, we, do, we do all of that. We do websites, credit. You know, it ain't just like trucking, regular trucking stuff. Like it's, it's the other stuff that goes around that makes it all come together. You know, website is very good for branding. Hey, sir, I'm new to your channel. What's a slow week for a semi? What's up? Welcome to the channel. Um, a slow week for the semi. To me, is like I said, right now you've seen on that slow truck. Now my, my other truck probably averaging about seven thousand a week. So I would say a slow week, a four grand would be a slow week. But if I did, but if I only did a thousand miles and I made four grand, I'm not really upset because it's only a thousand miles. You know what I mean? Fuel, fuel costs. You know what I'm saying? At the fuel and I pay the driver, and I still might be sitting at two G's. I like those better because that means if I could do four thousand miles in a month, I take sixteen grand and just take eight grand profit because. That's less miles, especially on trucks that I own. Now, if it's a rental truck, I'm, I don't really care. But if it's, but if it's a, um, if it's my truck, I want to do as less miles and two grand a week is cool. You know, just give me a little two piece with that because I'm, I'm making the money off of brokering loads and and dispatching. It's more different ways to, to make money in the game, you know, than just than just regular, you know, just doing trucking. You know, you gotta learn, just learn different parts of the game. Are you able to tell me the name of the rental program for Amazon box truck? Very much appreciate it. The name of the rental program. I'm not sure what you mean. The, the, are you saying a rental program to rent a truck? Cause if so, if that's what you mean, then you just got to get a scat code after you set up for Amazon, you know, we'll get a scat code. And then once you sign up for Amazon, they might even give you a different one, but once you get that and approved, then you can take that to Ryder or Penske. Well, Penske said they're not doing Amazon race no more. So there's one person out the game right there until further notice. So that was kind of a dagger to the game because I've been telling people to get rentals, but they said they ain't, they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't messing with Amazon right now. It's hiring a box truck driver over the road with a rental and a dispatcher potentially profitable. It could be. I don't, I mean, to me, me dispatching it myself I, with a rental, my rate is four twenty five a week, ten cents a mile. And bro, I just with the with what I've been seeing on select is, I mean, a dollar seventy to a dollar ninety cents a mile. It just it ain't really worth my time, bro. Because the stuff, the 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 maintenance costs too much to fix. But if you're in a rental truck, you ain't got to worry about maintenance. But still, the cost to run that rental truck is still because you because really. You ain't paying for maintenance on your truck, but they charging you per mile. So you still technically is paying for maintenance. You just ain't got to be responsible for when it actually break down. That's why they be charging you 10, 20 cents a mile. So yeah, it could be if you got to a dope dispatcher. But like I said, me on the box truck side, that ain't where I can guarantee money for real. I showed y'all like what like what I could do. Like we've been averaging 275 to, to over to a little bit over three dollars, you know, some weeks, sometimes 325. So you know, it's just, it's just as much easy looking at a dollar seventy, and the cost to run a box truck is probably at least a dollar thirty. So what, forty cents a mile? You got to do what? What four hundred dollars every thousand miles? Then potentially, 
So that's like 1200 if you do 3000 miles. Some people might be getting a little more than that, but that's, I mean, I got it and I see the bills and I see what it costs. I mean, to me, like I said, it, I don't, I don't know if it's, if it's a real good idea for real, to be honest. If you do dispatching for outside box trucks, I would love to hook hook up with you since you have experience in the trucking business. You said for outside, but well, I don't know if I'm not comprehending that because I'm, I'm I'm tired. But yeah, we could link up. But um, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm probably not gonna take no more people with, with um take no more box truck uh, on dispatch because I I it's, I'm I'm not gonna take anything that I can't guarantee. I am my I am Miss Flavors. Yes, it's 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 a, it's a complete it's a complete package. Complete. Could you talk about the book a little? I just put in an order for it. I currently have a CDL with no OTR experience. I'm looking to start with box trucks and expand. What's your thoughts? Um, I guess for one, I'm gonna think about what what market you in, and if you uh, box trucks, I think it's real good for people who are actually trying to drive a the truck themselves to get started. I mean, scaling of box trucks. I'm not sure you could scale it just from getting in, just putting the driver in. I have never seen it done, you know, so I I, I can't really speak on it because I haven't seen it done, and I, and I have and I wasn't able to do it, so. Not saying it's impossible, but I don't really, you know, I only could talk to you from from where I'm at and what I know, you know. And um, it, I think if you're gonna start in it, yeah. But if you plan on, you know, but if you plan on hiring a driver right off the gate, you know, I mean, I think that'd rather be hard and dig into your pockets. But yeah, but definitely get in if you're gonna do it yourself and expand. Yeah, yeah, I'm all for that, for real. Because like I said, if I had to start all over again, I go give me a box truck. I probably run a little bit over the road, try to find a little local. I'll make it work. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying you can't make it work, but when you're talking like scale, it's like basically like this. Don't get it twisted. When I'm when I'm saying that it ain't making no money to me, you gotta understand that I just did super big numbers last year. Like I just did 3.5 million last year. So I'm not so if once you see something at a at a big at a big angle, you can't look at it, you can no longer see it for that like one truck like i would have to have 10 box trucks like one box truck just don't make sense to me or two box trucks it got to be like five or more in order for it to really make sense how do you find drivers typically word of word of mouth from the current the drivers that i currently have those are those are um those are typically the ones that i that they, they end up hiring and attracting other people and like i said a lot of times people like i said they just hear about all oh, you know, they either work for me before, like, hey, they don't work for me no more, but they sent somebody my way. Because I've been mean, trying to find people on Indeed. They really don't be no better than, I mean, I'd rather have referrals for real, to be honest. If you have a load and break down and your truck end up spending days in the shop, how do you get the load you have to its destination? Well, for me, I just call in. Uh, uh, typically, a lot of companies would just have, uh, um, they have somebody come in transload because that, that's what i would do so that's what i pretty much do with like my multiple trucks but say if you're in a semi somebody else could just come and you can just well me since i'm freight broke i could just have somebody just come and pick up the trailer and just continue on but but if you don't have that then like i said typically you could um just let the broker know and, and they're not going to let you just sit there with it more than likely if they can find somebody else to do it STL and her bro keep motivating off for show, for show. Just got my authority approved, but can't find no work. You you in a box truck or a semi? And what and what area you out of? Man, I wish we could just like reply. For real, you know what? I'm gonna try to open up the lines, but I forgot I ain't got my um I ain't got my headphones here. I left them at the office. Left him at the office because if I do the phone calls, I ain't gonna be able to hear y'all. On day 13 of my waiting period, since I got my DOT MC based out of Atlanta, wanted to dispatch my own trucks, but I see a lot of brokers and 
good boards want six months experience. I want to run three box trucks. Yeah, that's a that, that, that's a huge problem in the game right there. Um, trying to trying to get started, man. That first ninety days, geez, it's tough. Even even I'm past that, and it's still the rates just just ain't really that good. But like I said, you everybody can find their own way of doing it, and you got to find your rhythm within this thing. Now, don't don't take my word for it. Like I said, it's a lot of people that's doing it and they surviving. Um, it's just I'm just trying to make a little more money than that. And I just um I just went up on crypto. So um but trucking is really even looking like it's looking like food now. Like I'm gonna sell everything and put it all in crypto because I just made a hundred percent on on that on that on my investment on Polygon. So on Matic. So uh, I'm looking at trucking like ah, I don't know. That was that was way easy. I just put money in and it's and it doubled. You know, what's a good rate for box trucks? I say, um, I say a good rate for box trucks would be. It depends on how much your cost is for real. I want to make a dollar a mile profit. I mean, that's just at least. So I mean, if two seventy five is what I'm getting, I want to. You know, what I'm saying my my cost can't exceed a dollar seventy five. Well, I mean, if my cost is a dollar, because my cost. On a lot of miles, it's like a dollar sixty. So it's somewhere in between a dollar sixty and a dollar eighty. Because your cost per mile changes depending on how many miles you did. Because the more miles it eats up, some of that fixed cost. So in between a dollar um, sixty and a dollar ninety. So I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm typically always, always two ninety or above. I'm, I'm looking at three dollars. I'm, I'm hitting it because sometimes I'm getting four dollars. So my average always end up coming back to around three. How do I connect with you about the trailers? I recently got. A 2006 for 13,000. Um, just, just, just shoot me an email, and I got you. And just put, um, I wanted to know about the trailers. My next move after high shot is going straight to semi power only. Oh yeah, for sure. Do it because it's, it's 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 a lot of money. Like I said, I've been I've been running with a handful of companies. And I've been making you know good money. Bro, say I need a trailer. Um, what kind of trailer you need, and, and what city are you out of? I mean, trailers are very, very hard to find right now. It's fifteen k for a two thousand nine trailer. Good price. Oh yeah, that's definitely good. It's definitely, definitely good. I would say it depends on the condition, and just make sure that the trailer is full grade, I mean, meaning that it got it got the steel floor with the with the white walls, and it makes sure it ain't, it ain't don't don't buy a trailer that got all wood walls. Like if the walls are covered in like wood, don't get it because you need the the white um vinyl plastic stuff in order for it to um to be to be considered food grade and a lot of people want food grade trailers let me cut this lighting up a little bit all right How is the box truck market in San Francisco or Oakland? Don't know, Charlie. Um, California, I don't know. Um, I might, I might dig into it, but I finna um, travel tomorrow. I finna go on family vacation tomorrow, so I, um, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to end up doing that today. I'm gonna try though. Let's see if we can get a Chris. Hey, get them, get them likes. That's what I'm saying, man. It's Typically, on Truck Talk Tuesday, we'd be, we be like double the amount of people in here, but it's all good. It's all good. If there's two people in here, we're going to kick it. He's willing to finance for 550 a month. I'm not sure what that, what that means, Corey. Appreciate that. Plan on getting the book. All right, for sure. Go on ahead and grab it, man. The link's in the description. I had a broker call me today picking up a load from my state, New Jersey, going to Grand Prairie, Texas, 1,600 miles for 2850 but I wanted 36 Do you think I messed up? Oh, no, definitely not. Well, were you in a box truck or were you in a semi? In a box truck, that would have been cool because that's about what they're getting. But in the semi, I'm getting, I mean, 16 and 16 is 32. I'm definitely trying to get like 45 or I'm definitely trying to get triple that for real. Still looking for three, but I, like I said, on that many miles, I settled for about 275, 260. 
just depends on really, really, I say it depends on how bad you need. Like I wouldn't take no bad load like that in the morning towards the end of the day and the driver ain't moved all day. Then sometimes you just try to grab something and that's just real. You can earn 14% APR on your polygonos. Ooh, look at them spitting that literature. Okay. Okay. So is that an app right there? Hey, hey man, hit me up, man. Hit me up. I need to know. Um, I need to know some, um, some of that, um, insight right there. Let me know about that. Cause I'm just not getting into it. Like I'm just not getting hip to it. So uh, anybody that knows something on crypto, let me know. Begin the question. But can you explain the MCS 150 and when we need to complete it? I'm working on getting my authority now. Wait, you'll be completing that. That that is the that is the application. It's not something separate. You setting up your MCS 150. Why are you doing the application? That's that's pretty much just the form or how many trucks you got and all this stuff like that. I live off Camp Creek where Amazons are popping right and left. Will they allow new box truck owner operators? Uh, yeah, I mean they actually just sent out an email about about owner operators just recently. Like they they literally just they just sent that out about owner operators just just recently. Um, I want to say like about like five days ago. But they was asking if you got five or more trucks, you know, you can get in or whatnot. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But if I get some, and I know you in Atlanta area, let me know. Because like I said, I, I mean, I'll let you run under me, you know, and we can get some money since you're in Atlanta area. But right now, I just, like I said, I had hella routes, but now it's nothing. It's all good, though. <laughs> It's all good. I'm still finna go vacation because, like I said, that's why, I get, that's why you got multiple streams. But one slow down, the other one pick up. Okay, I thought it was something additional. Thank you. Oh, no, it's all good. It's all good, brother. I said that's why, you know, um, I do coaching calls and all of that, you know, so you could do, you got questions and all of that. Just, just let me know. If I got room on the schedule, I'll definitely get you in. Sometimes I go check my Facebooks and my Instagram and try to hit a couple people back, but, you know, it'd it, it be kind of crazy. I don't really like doing the social media all the time, you know, for real. But I caught up on the questions, I think. I believe. I don't think I missed nobody. What time is it? It's 7.43. I got about 17 minutes to be in here. So many questions y'all want to do. We could do a couple of little Amazon Relay City lookups. Yeah, I know I'm vegan and stuff, and I be I be kind of I be having to drink like my water a whole lot because I don't drink no sodas for real, not too much juice and stuff like that. So it be it be kind of getting to me. <laughs> I could be hungry trying to drink some water. So what's up, y'all? Want to do some city lookups? Drop y'all cities, and we can do some city lookups before we get out of here. I don't know if it's delayed. Feed, feedback delayed. So yeah, Celsius is an app you can stake coins, Matic, and some other stuff. I'll, I'll email you. Okay, cool. All right, for sure, for sure. So I see Nashville, which I got to put. So if, if y'all want me to look up the city, go put the city and whether it's box truck or semi. So I see all of these cities. So just just drop your city again that you want me to look up and put box truck or semi and which load board. When buying a semi, what's the price range and range you look and mile range? Well, me, I'm looking for automatics, so I'm looking for they're gonna be probably over forty thousand, and I in six hundred thousand miles is cool if I can give me a warranty. Of course, you want lower miles, but like I said, when you see how much them trucks cost, yeah, forty forty two only get you six hundred thousand with in a, in an automatic. You know, so just keep that in mind. Do you know any good leasing or financing companies? I just got my authority and Ryder told me I have to be in business for a year. Um, shoot me an email. I can, um, I'm gonna do some research. I'm pretty sure that'd be a real good resource. I'm, I'm gonna reach out to, to my to my factoring partner. They probably know somebody that do finance for sure. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, hit me up. And um, 
just um put put that and um you know what I'm saying after my lives I do be checking my spam folders and stuff like that. I got a day cab and four drivers secured. I got a great business plan. I need insurance to activate my authority. I leveraged my startup off of credit, still working my nine to five. That's what's up. Congrats. What kind of work you doing, Mike? Okay, cool. We got some of these. Let's get it popping. Oh, dang. It's a lot of these coming in. All right. All right, let me answer this last question. What's the average rate? You get on, on for a box truck because all all the offers on DAT low were between a dollar forty and two dollars. Yeah, that, that's it for real. And that's why I say it ain't worth. Like when I could get two seventy five in the semi and the maintenance cost and the only thing extra on the semi is ifta for real. It ain't really, and you, and you got to get a different type of driver. But it's just the cost ain't the amount that you making that that you can make more. You know, consistently. You might kill one week in a box truck or have a good week, but I'm trying to get good profit every single time. So Cincinnati box is the first, the first one that I see. I'm pretty sure y'all want to see Amazon, which I, yeah, this ain't this ain't specified on here. Let's get it popping. Cincinnati box. Let's go to the low board. Oh, hold on, let me share my screen with y'all. It is more moving kind of slow for some reason. Let's go to big where equipment type it. Hold on, give me a second. I um, I definitely don't be using this more that much. Yeah, I don't even see where it even say. Maybe I'm overlooking it or something. Oh, here you go trailer type. Here you go. I don't know why it's this small now. Come well, super small. So yes, yeah, so a Cincinnati. They got some over there, but I already knew they was gonna have some. I mean, it's a, a, a lot of places got some right now because a lot of us who was doing it gave all of them routes back because they, I mean, they weren't paying that much. But y'all should well, Cincinnati take a quick scroll. I'll scroll up and down for you real quick. That's that's Amazon. That's just refreshing. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Now, when you say Dallas Semi, I want to know if you're looking for Amazon or are you looking for... Um, Say nothing in Dallas. Hold on, let me switch. I forgot. I got a um, go fifty three. Man, these races. See, they giving box truck rates in a semi. I don't know who taking these routes though. A <laughs> dollar forty one. That's like box. That's they literally giving you box truck rates on it. So I'm like, I don't. I said it might be the end. 
We up on Flint, Michigan. So 48 miles away, they got some box truck loads somewhere. Livonia. They got like four of them. All right. I already did Cincinnati. I did Dallas. New Orleans. New Orleans. Don't say don't don't say what exactly what they want. We got Oakland, Nashville, and we got Oakland, a couple of Oaklands in the house. That's what's up. I see. I see Charlie and it's all good. I see y'all. We got Cali in here. Beat. See Sacramento. The only place I've been in Cali is I think I've been to San Diego and LA. Oakland. Make it easy for me, man. Why ain't just Oakland? CA. How hard would that be? Give me Oakland everywhere else. Man, what's up to close to Oakland? I don't know why. I guess Oakland. I guess I could just look at Oakland West. It's probably it'll probably be like the same area. And they looking for the box. Let me take the semi off of there. His box truck work. Paying as shitty as ever. Yeah, these these rates are complete garbage. Look at that. They want this for seven seven stops too. So keep in mind, this is this rate right here. I ain't never broke it open for y'all, but I ain't never seen one this long before. I ain't never seen a route that had six stops on it. That's crazy for just 333. That mug going from here to here. That's a grip of stops, G. Good luck on that. That's pretty much the box truck side of it for Oakland. Let me see. Um, Asheville. See, everywhere got something right now. Amazon and pissed too many people off. Now, anybody that been watching this know we ain't never seen this many um, places. Like, every single place we didn't click got box truck work. <laughs> every place. Come on now. We ain't, we ain't never we ain't never seen it like this before. Never, ever. So, we got Stockton. Stockton is looking for what? Box trucks? Well, box trucks deep in here. So here you go, seven, like 40. So basically Stockton, Oakland, look like they got the same, they got the same stuff. I don't know what was that. Somebody tried to come in in this live studio. I don't know. I don't know what that was. That was weird though. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that was a little weird, man. Some came up on my other screen. So yeah, I see these right, these right here. It's all stock and stuff. 
what's work out there, it just ain't it just ain't really paying that much. So Stockton got a lot of them. They pack. See Akron, we already did Nashville, already did Dallas. So let me look at Akron. I'm surprised about that though. Akron again, man. I just cause it's Akron, Michigan. Hold on. I'm sure like Akron, Ohio ain't got nothing. Looks something was wrong with that. There we go. Yes. Somebody said they got my video restricted on, on Facebook or something. I don't know. I don't know why. That would be. Um, yeah, so this is this Akron, Ohio. And let me see. Y'all be winding down. It's got like three more minutes. I'm going to try to knock out a couple more questions real quick before I get out of here. What type of payroll system do you pay your drivers through? We use ADP. We use ADP. Yeah, my bad I couldn't get to everybody else, but it's, it's only so many of them mugs I could do and, um, at a time, time. We got... Um, I already did Nashville. So anybody, like almost everybody was asking for like the same stuff, like Oakland, a lot of Oakland, all of that. I am trying to break into the industry for a while and I got into the second leg of interviews for carrier sales representative, did a ton of research, but really never still any suggestions. I mean, I would say uh, if you want to do it, you know, do it. I mean, it's, it's not, I don't, I don't really know. Some people say they're doing it part-time. You know, I see how long that, that lasts. I haven't been able to do it part-time, you know, not not in the beginning. But depending on your connections, if you ain't got no connections to the game and you just getting started, to me, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be tough, you know, and you got to be willing to, um, and you got to be willing to, go through and endure a little bit. It's not it's not gonna be like a fly by night type of thing. If if that's what you're coming for, I try to tell people like, don't even waste your time, you know, especially with a box truck. Now with a semi, if you got if you got like your cousin and a driver, because that's the king that you get you a cool driver and you in a decent market, man, it's gonna be real easy to make money. Real easy. So excuse me. That's the thing. With semis, you know, you could just make uh, you can make a lot more money. You know, like you could, you know, pull JB Hunt loads. There's a lot of other stuff out here um, outside of Amazon, too. So it's eight o'clock, y'all. I got to get ready for my, give me some sleep for my thing. Nashville was a good, was a decent market. All you got to do is just, when once this video go off, you could just watch it back. And you could just go, scroll through the fine, um, just go to the last 15 minutes. The last 15 minutes is when I did the lookup. So if you didn't see it and you just getting in, um, we did Oakland, we did at we did Akron, Ohio, we did a we did a lot of um we did a lot of ones. We're probably like about 10, but it's all in the last 15 minutes of the video. Last question. It's surprising there is too not too much research data for New York box trucks how the market is 
It's um, I mean, box trucks is 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 it's it's a market. It's a small little market for it almost anywhere, especially in major cities. It's not whether it, you know. The thing is not whether it's gonna be work there. That's what people got mixed up. It's always gonna be work. Well, I ain't never had a problem finding work. I had a problem having. I had a problem finding work that made sense to where I can make money. I never had a problem finding work. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? So keep in mind that it's not all about finding the work. Does the work make sense enough for you to, um, you know, like leave your job? Like I just was talking to a dude on a one-on-one call and he make 150000 a year. And he was like, he wanted to quit his job to go do box trucks. I'm like, dude, that's ridiculous. You might not even make $150,000, you know, like not not clearing $150,000 in a box truck and not with just no one. You know what I mean? So I'm like, now, if he was saying he wanted to do a semi, I would probably be like, OK, you know, you could do it. Hire you a little dispatcher to teach you, you know, what, what you need to do. But, man, do not. If you, you got you making six figures, really think about it and really do your research. And don't just take it from me. Look at other people, you know, um, too. Know a lot of other people are doing it. You know, if you and like I said, just just don't get caught up in the gross numbers. Like I said, the gross numbers are it's not what you're taking home. It's definitely not what you're taking home. If you if you make a million in a with a box truck, you'd be lucky if you take home two hundred thousand for real. If you like really, I mean that's just real. But I right, y'all, peace. Um, glad y'all came, you know, to get the game from me. Um, I'm gonna get off of her. I, I'm gonna try to come back, come back on. I might try to take my equipment with me so I can go live out there. Probably go live on like IG or something though, or like in the Facebook group, or something like that. The link um, to my Facebook group, I believe, is in here. If not, um, hit me up, and I um, I can send y'all the link for the for the um, for the Facebook group. Or whatever, and I sometimes I just go live in there because it's easy. I just go on my phone instead of my whole little setup and everything that I got. It'd be taking a lot to get this set up. So, I right, child, peace. Um, I'll see y'all next week if um if, if I don't be able to get enough time to to make another video this week. All right, peace.